and analytical hub. This video is going to show you how to pull uh, longitude and latitude from an address. Uh, and we're going to be using the RDSTK package in R. Uh, before, uh, we were all using ggmap uh, gg in order to get your longitude and latitudes, but uh, that's not really available anymore. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to um, how to get the uh, longitude and latitude uh, using this package. So the first thing we're going to do is to install RDSTK. Right, and you do that using the dev tools, uh, install underscore GitHub, and use this here. Um, and in the description, I'm also going to include a link to my website, so the code will will be there. So uh, feel free to um, to copy that code. Alright, right here it's a skipping install since it's already installed. Perfect. The next thing you're going to do here is uh, you're going to call the package RDSTK and uh, the dplyr package as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and test out the package. So we're going to take the Disneyland um, address, right? We're going to say, uh, give it the variable name location. And then we're going to do use the streets to coordinates function and put location in there. Let me go ahead and run that. All right, and it does take a couple seconds because it's going and it's pulling the coordinates. All right, so you can see here the full address, it's giving us the country, latitude the country name, you know, the longitude, street address, region, uh, the confidence level, so the higher the confidence, uh, the more likely that the that longitude and latitude will be correct. All right. <laughs> now, uh, let's just say that we don't want, you know, um, this whole, um, um, all these elements, we really only want the longitude and latitude. All right, so that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna assign this street to coordinates function. We're gonna assign it the variable just df. All right, and actually we'll just do that. We'll run that, and then we'll just using dplyr we'll use the select function just to pull full address, latitude, and longitude, and then we'll print it out. And you can see here we just have. The address, so this is actually we're using the Staples Center, Los Angeles Staples Center where the Lakers play. Uh, we're just getting the address, the longitude and latitude. All right, and the difference here now you saw that it did bring it in as a data frame. <clears throat> now let's just say that uh, most of you will want to do use uh, multiple addresses and uh, pull the longitude and latitude uh, in order to map it. Alright, so this is what we we'll do here. We're going to use the the first one is your uh, Staples Center address and the second one would be your Disneyland California address. Alright, and then you just you said you could go ahead and copy this code from, uh, from my website uh, if you don't want to type it in yourself. Uh, but it's the do call rbind and you're using L apply, so you're going to use the street coordinates function. On you know this could be two or it could be a hundred uh, addresses. Once you get to over a thousand, then it starts to get uh, run a little slower. All right, so let me go ahead and run this. And just uh, you know we did the same thing here with the select, just because we only want the longitude and latitude, and we're going to add the uh, I added just a simple variable uh, label function, uh, label variable, um, and this is just because I'm going to map this at the end. So just named it Staples Center in Disneyland. You see, depending on how fast your computer is and your internet speeds. All right, 
So now we have our two full addresses, longitude, latitude, and the label, just Staples Center and Disneyland. So you'll see right now why uh, I created a, a new column called label. All right, now uh, I want to map both of these uh, addresses. Uh, so I'm going to use a leaflet um, package. So I'm going to call leaflet since I already have it installed. And I'm going to use this piece of code here. And here's where I'm putting in, it said for the longitude, geocode, longitude, geocode, latitude. And I'm using or um, pop-up is going to be the label function. Sorry, the, yeah, the label argument. All right, once I run this, you can see down here. Oops. You see here, I could click on it, it's Disneyland. Here's Staples Center. We could get a little closer. All right, and that's how you pull uh, longitude and latitude for single or multiple addresses, and also how you map uh, those coordinates after after you've pulled them. All right, thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe.